all right let's start we'll be starting with the chapter 5 sample moments now we have already studied a few things um this is chapter 5 sample moments okay so let's quickly understand what all things are there um a few things which are a slightly difficult concept so we'll have to you know uh pay attention very nicely only then we will be able to understand how to tackle these uh, kind of questions all right so <coughs> have you guys uh done all the initial uh classes where i taught mean sana deviation variance skewness kurtosis in my previous class so here what we'll be doing now if you all remember uh how did we how did we calculate how did we calculate mu which is the mean now instead of mu mean which was 1 by n summation xi right that is how we calculated the sample mean now if i say that the mean estimator i make this as mean estimator what is a mean estimator what is a mean estimator so we have already seen that mu and sigma square were the parameters for normal distribution or maybe you are calculating mean for any particular observation that you have now the population mean for example if you have a data of 100 values 100 share prices are given to you and you calculate the mean for that what is the mean when you calculate for the 100 value sample mean that's not the entire population mean right so for the for calculation of population mean using sample mean we use mean estimator what is mean estimator when i say mean estimator it basically means that you will use and i for the mean estimator you get make this hat on top of mu so mu is basically the population mean the sample mean if you remember was x bar x bar was your sample mean right x bar was your sample mean mu is your population mean now how to calculate the population mean and estimate because you will never be able to calculate the actual population mean right if you have a sample of 100 values you will never be able to calculate the entire population for example if i give you the height of 2000 women living in calcutta kolkata in india can you calculate the actual value of the population average mean height of these people or average height or mean height of this people no you cannot calculate so there is something called as estimator we estimate the mean of the population and the formula that we use for this is again similar to what we have followed but again just uh, listen to this very carefully for the next few minutes is that this calculation is a little different when we move to variance as well so this is basically the mean estimator okay the mean estimate of mu hat you call this as mu hat okay its pronunciation is mu hat and now you calculate on the basis of xi which are the random variables random values actually which you have for example 100 values so n becomes your 100 in that case now this hat is basically signifying that we are calculating a sample estimate from what from an unknown to find what to find an unknown population mean right to find what an unknown population mean that you don't have with yourself now x bar is sample mean that we have already seen so let's understand another thing let's understand another thing if i want to calculate for example you have 100 100 100 100, 100 values uh set of values how many set let's say suppose 10 set 10 set of 100 values you have 100 100 100 these 10 set for each 100 value for example you have 
10 sets like this. For each of these values, you are calculating what? Mu hat. Mu hat. Mu hat. You have calculated 10 mu hats. Now, using this 10 mu hat, I ask you to find the expectation of all of these. Out of the 10 mu hats that you have calculated, I am asking you to give me the expectation of that. Because ideally, what is this? This is, you are calculating the sample mean, which you are estimating. Matlab, aap isko estimate kar rahe ho for the population to find out the unknown population mean. Now, when I am taking the expectation of these 10 values, which is this. So, I am taking expectation of... I am taking expectation of what? I am taking expectation of the isko uh, expectation of the mean. Chicken. <coughs> to kya ho jayega? Just substitute this. Just substitute this 1 by n. Summation xi. i goes from 1 to n. Chicken. Ab iske baar, what we know since these xi. Lick low. These xi's are iid. Remember, I have defined iid in my previous classes. What is iid? Independent and identically distributed random numbers. Independent meaning all of these sample values are independent of each other taken from the same distribution. Identical meaning say, taken from the same distribution like normal mu comma sigma square. That mu and sigma square will also remain the same. Taken, taken from the same distribution and independent of each other. Now, what we can do since these are independent, the summation can go out. So, 1 by n summation. I am not writing this entirely. I goes from 1 to n. Expectation of mu. Right? Right? Or... Uh, let me not write it like this. Let me write it like this. Expectation of Xi. Now expectation of Xi is ideally it has to be the population mean. Right? It has to be the population mean. So this part is this part is what? Mu so finally you are getting mu by n. Is it? This is mu by n. Finally you are getting mu. Please see this. Because you are summing over for n values mu plus mu plus mu goes up till n n values of mu, you are adding it up and you are getting finally a mu. Right? Please see this. Now, what else we will do after this is that this is the mean estimator. This is the expectation of mean estimator. <coughs> What do you see over here is that the expected value, expected value of mean estimator is equal to what? Is equal to population mean. This is your population mean. Right? So, Expected value of mean estimator is equal to population mean, right? Okay, this is only possible when xi is identical. If it would have been in, not identical, you cannot have written expectation of xi as mu. You cannot have written. Because then this new would depend on different values of xi. Now, another thing which we calculate from here is biasness. Another thing that we calculate is biasness of mu. Biasness of mean estimator. Biasness of mean estimator. 
वॉट इज दिस बायसनेस वॉट इज दिस बायसनेस दैट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट वॉट इज दिस बायसनेस दैट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सो बेसिकली द बायसनेस मीन्स यू कैन राइट इट डाउन बायसनेस मीन्स द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एक्सपेक्टेड वैल्यू expected value of the mean estimator expected value of the estimator it can be mean estimator variance estimator whatever expected value of estimator and the population value estimated this is the population value estimated this is the population value estimated now what we have done we have already calculated the expectation of estimator to be mu minus mu will give us a zero will give us a zero so what is biasness it is the difference between expected value of estimator which is this what we have found out over here mu hat was our estimator mean estimator used to identify the population mean unknown population mean right parameter mu you need to identify for that you need pop, uh, mean estimator you have calculated this now what is biasness all about what is actually biasness all about it tells us it tells us that whether our data is biased or not it tells us whether our data is biased or not for example when you get a zero it means that your data your data is unbiased your data is unbiased that is what you observe over here since your estimator is zero since your biasness is zero sorry you say that it is unbiased so when you say unbiased it basically means that your sample that you have it no, it is not biased not giving you biased answers for the parameter mu in detail we'll be studying about biasness when we move to machine learning in the later chapters theek okay? hai now you understand one more thing over here what we did just quickly take a revision mean estimator so you don't know the population mean mu so for that you calculated mean estimator this is the mean estimator now once you have calculated mean estimator you are calculating the expectation of the mean estimator expectation of mean estimator is giving you something which is equal to population mean we have already studied what is population mean this population mean you are only getting because you are using this definition of mean estimator your definition of mean estimator can also change also and un understand this thing that your definition of mean estimator can also change then you in order to understand whether you are getting a biased answer or unbiased answer what do you see you calculate biasness which is expectation of estimator minus the population right population parameter and it gives you zero but do you think always you will get zero no this is one of the reasons because we have taken xi as iid independent identically distributed random variables if i would not have taken this identical i would not have gotten omni over here some other answer and we might have got a biased estimation we will do this for variance now so let's do this for variance so variance the <coughs> variance of variance of the st meter let's find out the variance of the mean estimator let's find out the variance of mean estimator now mean estimator the definition that we took was this this 1 by n will come out as 1 by n square variance of summation xi now since you are saying the definition over here will converge to two portions it will con it will it will actually has it will actually give you two answers one answer will be where your values are independent and identically distributed 
when it is independent and identically distributed and one set of answer when you say that it is not iid when you say that it is not iid all right so let us first consider the case of iid we have already done this in class when we have done iids so how do how do you find out when it's iid this 1 by n square has come out now variance of expectation of this so basically variance n 1 by n square since it's independent what you have done variance of a plus b where a and b are independent of each other is equal to variance of a plus variance of b so same thing we'll apply here this summation will go out right variance of xi variance of xi is variance of xi is what is variance of xi we have taken this as sigma square ठीक है वेरियंस ऑफ एक्स आई वी हैव टेकन एज सिग्मा स्क्वायर सिग्मा स्क्वायर यू आर समिंग दिस सिग्मा स्क्वायर हाउ मेनी टाइम्स एन टाइम्स यू आर समिंग इट एन टाइम्स सो यू आर गेटिंग वन बाय एन स्क्वायर इनटू एन सिग्मा स्क्वायर सिग्मा स्क्वायर बाय एन दिस इज व्हाट यू आर गेटिंग Please see, this is what you are getting when it is IID. What if I tell you it's not IID? Then in that case, what will happen? One by n square. But now you cannot take this expectation. They take this summation outside of variance because we have seen that we can do variance of x plus y is equal to variance of x plus y. Um, we can do this when it is only iid or at least independent but if it is not independent you will have one covariance term remember you will have one covariance term do you guys remember this right same situation will take place over here where you will have a covariance term of all of these different iids right so how do you take this covariance term into account this formula is not very important i will say but then yes we'll have to just quickly write it down it's not very important um it will be all the variance terms all these variance plus x for example this is x plus y plus z many values are there so you add up variance of all the values and you also have this covariance terms so covariance i'm just writing the covariance terms i'm not writing the entire formula because you will be having a lot of covariance terms so what is the difference between this answer that you are getting over here this answer that you are getting over here and this answer you have covariance terms here you have no covariance term when it is iid so what do you conclude what do you conclude over here we conclude that when when these xi's are when these xi's are iid when these xi's are iid the mean estimator which is mu hat the mean estimator expectation of mean estimator we got mu and variance of mean estimator we got this yes yes so this is mu hat is what mu hat is your mean estimator now can you say that mu follows normal mu comma sigma square by n mu hat which is the mean estimator follows this can you say this yes this is what is clt all about clt central limit theorem we derive this exact derivation in central limit theorem let's understand quickly what is central limit theorem quickly so now what when you have a very huge sample size all right and then i am asking you to find out so for example i have taken 1000 values from normal mu comma sigma square distribution i have taken i have taken 
let's say suppose i have taken um 1000 values from normal mu comma sigma square i ask you x bar which is sample mean what will be the distribution i have taken 10 uh, 1000 values what will be the distribution of the sample mean from when you have this 10000 1000 values from normal distribution what will be the distribution of x bar x bar will ideally follow normal mu comma sigma square by n because this x bar is similar to the mean estimator is this clear pc <coughs> Sample mean is what you calculate on the sample that you have. Mean estimator is a little different. So writing this part will be a little, will be a little debatable. So I'm just removing this and I'm again making this as X bar. It's a little debatable. When your mu hat was 1 by N summation XI. When this is the definition of mu hat, you are getting these two values. And this definition is similar to sample mean. This is how you calculate. And that is why when you calculate, and that is why when you calculate the expectation of x bar, you will get mu because this is exactly similar. Now, mu hat, you have nikala 1 by n expect uh, summation of xi. Aap x bar kaise nikalte ho? 1 by n summation of x i. Aap aise hi nikalte ho, right? Iska aap expectation le ho, which is equal to mu. Jaise similar ho gaya. Chik hai? And variance of x bar is again similar sigma square by n. And that is why I can say that x bar follows this. Ye portion and ye portion alag hai. Ye ek definition humne liya hai mean estimator ka. Okay, this is always remember mean estimator ka definition which can be anything. It's up to you up kya definition lete ho mean estimator ka. Sample mean ka function ye, formula yehi hai. Sample mean ka formula yehi rahega. Always. But mean estimator you can take as per to you. If this is what you are taking as mean est uh, estimator and it is IID, then this is what you get in expectation and variance. And similarly, if you apply the concept here and if you want X bar ka distribution, if values of XI, if values of XI follows this normal distribution, to aapko X bar kya milega? Ye milega. Now, as we have mean estimator use kiya hai, in the similar way, we will be using, as we have mean ka estimator nikala hai, a sample, ya a population mean, mu, mu is a population mean, uska humne estimator nikala hai, in a similar way, we will find out the estimator of variance. Alright, in the similar way, we will find out the estimator of variance. Now, if you all remember variance, kaise likhte the expectation of, uh, I can just quickly give you the hints. What was this? This is your variance of x, population variance. Okay. This is population variance, which is equal to expectation of x minus expectation of x ka whole square. Right? Ye ek formula tha. <coughs> Remember, ya fir 1 by n summation x minus mu square, mu ka square, ya fir x minus x, uh, xi minus x bar ka whole square. To wo similar cheez hai. Now, in this case, the sample estimator, sample estimator of variance. Jaise waha tha mu hat, Yaha pe ho jayega sigma square hat. Waha humne mu hat nikala which is ki agar aapko population mean nahi given hai to aap usko kaise estimate karoge mu hat use karke. Similarly, agar aapko population variance sigma is nahi 
सिग्मा स्क्वायर नहीं दिया हुआ तो सिग्मा स्क्वायर एस्टिमेट करने के लिए हम सिग्मा स्क्वायर हैट यूज करेंगे अ डेफिनेशन ऑफ दिस अ डेफिनेशन ऑफ दिस देखो हम लोग कैसे लिखेंगे इसका डेफिनेशन सिग्मा स्क्वायर इक्वल्स वन बाय एन समेशन आई गोज फ्रॉम वन टू एन एक्स आई माइनस म्यू हैट का स्क्वायर म्यू हैट अगेन क्यों क्योंकि पॉपुलेशन मीन इज नॉट नोन सिंस पॉपुलेशन मीन नॉट नोन we are taking what we are taking mu hat is this definition similar to sigma square yes or no is this definition similar to sigma square can you tell me that is this definition similar to population variance is this definition similar to population variance yes or no क्विकली चार्ट बॉक्स में यश क्विकली आंसर करो चार्ट बॉक्स में इज दिस सिमिलर टू सैंपल वेरियंस सैंपल वेरियंस याद है क्या होता था वन बाय एन माइनस वन सैंपल वेरियंस हमने जब निकाला था एकदम इनिशियल क्लासेस में वी टूक एन माइनस वन वी डिड नॉट टेक एन बट ह्योर एस्टिमेटर के लिए हमने क्या लिया है एन नाउ आर यू गेटिंग द पॉइंट वहां पॉपुल वहां हमने जब मेन एस्टिमेटर वी टुक न्यू हैट वी टुक द डेफिनेशन सिमिलर टू सैंपल मेन बट ह्योर द वेरियंस एस्टिमेटर एस्टिमेटर फॉर द वेरियंस इज डिफरेंट दैन सैंपल वेरियंस ऑल राइट दिस इज डिफरेंट दैन द सैंपल वेरियंस ठीक है अब अगेन हम लोग वॉट डू यू नीड नाउ अच्छा इसमें मैंने हैट नहीं दिया नाउ वॉट एल्स डू यू नीड टेल मी आफ्टर दिस टू फाइंड बायसनेस बायसनेस के लिए हम लोग को क्या चाहिए वॉट डू यू नीड फॉर बायसनेस एक्सपेक्टेशन एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ वेरियंस एस्टिमेटर right you need expectation of variance estimator which is variance uh, expectation of this just like we found out expectation of mu hat now expectation of sigma hat square iska jo proof hai this is not there in the syllabus also hame chahiye bhi nahi proofing anyway so you all can just straight away write You all can just straight away write where is this coming from by n, which is ideally n minus one by n sigma square, where sigma square is the population variance. Now, if I want to calculate, now if I want to calculate biasness. If I want to calculate biasness, how will I calculate biasness? Do you remember the formula now? Expectation of variance estimator. Expectation of estimator का variance estimator minus the population value population parameter theek hai now i have given you this this is the proof is not needed proof not needed to isme hum log kaise karenge n minus 1 by n sigma square minus thoda confusing hai but you know ek bar concept samajh loge to itna difficult nahi lagega theek hai if you understand the concept उतना डिफिकल्ट नहीं लगेगा सो दिस बिकम्स वॉट टेल मी दिस बिकम्स वॉट सिग्मा स्क्वायर बाय एन नो इफ यू टेक द एल सी एम सिग्मा स्क्वायर बाय एन इज दिस इज दिस इक्वल टू जीरो नो दिस इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो सो सिंस दिस इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो 
what do you conclude you conclude that it is you conclude that it is unbiased हम लोग के मेन एस्टिमेटर में क्या आ रहा था बायसनेस वॉज कमिंग एज जीरो ह्योर द बायसनेस इज नॉट कमिंग एज जीरो मीन मीन्स दैट दिस इज अनबायस्ड नाउ कैन यू टेल मी वाई इट इज अनबायस्ड ये ये समझना इंपॉर्टेंट है ध्यान से सुनना इट इज अनबायस्ड बिकॉज इट इज अनबायस्ड बिकॉज वॉट यू आर डूइंग यू आर यू आर इन ऑर्डर टू कैलक्यूलेट दिस in order to calculate the variance estimator you are using mean estimator ka value matlab ek parameter karne ke liye you are using some other parameter which is already not known this also has some biasness in it since this has some biasness in it this will also contain a larger biasness iska bhi biasness and iska bhi biasness दो बायसनेस आ गए ना इन ऑर्डर टू कैलकुलेट सिग्मा हैट स्क्वायर यू नीड न्यू हैट स्क्वायर न्यू हैट विच यू डोंट हैव आप उसको कैलकुलेट करो कहीं और से हो सकता है वो भी पूरे तरीके से सही नहीं हो इफ दैट इज आल्सो नॉट हंड्रेड परसेंट करेक्ट देन ऑब्वियसली योर सिग्मा हैट स्क्वायर विल ऑल्सो बी नॉट हंड्रेड परसेंट करेक्ट इफ दैट इज नॉट हंड्रेड परसेंट करेक्ट देन उसका एक्सपेक्टेशन इज नॉट हंड्रेड परसेंट करेक्ट इट हैज सम बायसनेस इफ दिस हैज सम बायसनेस एन ऑब्वियसली योर आंसर विल नॉट बी बायस्ड अनबायस्ड ठीक है मैंने यहां देफो बायस लिख दिया विच इज रॉन्ग इट इज देफो सॉरी इट इज देर फोर वॉट बायस्ड नॉट अनबायस्ड Do you get it? ठीक <laughs> है Now, अब अगर ये नहीं use करके अब आपने क्या किया You have used this sample estimator of variance. This estimator is giving you unbiased answer. This is giving you biased answer. Mean में आपको unbiased मिला था In the mean, see, in the mean, you got unbiased. But here you are getting biased estimate. So how can you now? How can you get unbiased estimate? For that you can take sample. Let's take sample variance. Do you remember how did we calculate the sample variance? One by n minus one. करके हम निकालते थे. So if you know n, or let me do one thing. Let me straight away don't write this. ध्यान से देखना. वन बाय एन माइनस वन ये है इसको इफ आई कैन राइट इट दिस वे आई एम टेकिंग दिस आउटसाइड वन बाय एन सो आई एम मल्टीप्लाइंग एंड डिवाइडिंग बाय एन एन एंड एन मल्टीप्लाई एंड डिवाइड कर दिया कैंसिल आउट हो जाएगा ठीक है This part is what? Is this part? Is this part similar to what you wrote for mu hat square, uh, sigma hat square? Is this part similar? देखो one by n summation ये पूरा same है, ठीक है? तो ये आपका क्या हो गया? N by n minus one <coughs> sigma hat square. देख लो, ये हो गया? ठीक है तो इफ यू यूज दिस डेफिनेशन इफ यू नाउ यूज दिस डेफिनेशन देन इन दिस केस वट एवर वी गेट फॉर एग्जाम्पल नाउ यू विल बी नीडिंग एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ ए स्क्वेर टू गेट टू गेट बायसनेस यू विल बी नीडिंग दिस वॉट वॉज द फॉर्मूला फॉर बायसनेस इसको अगर आप देखो इसी सेम चीज को आप वहां जाके डालो ठीक है आई एम नॉट गिविंग यू द इंटायर मतलब एक तरीके से अगर आप देखो ये वाला जो चीज है ये अगर आप नल एंड वॉइड कर दो जस्ट डोंट टेक दिस फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू जस्ट कंसिडर दिस इज दिस सेम एज योर सिग्मा स्क्वायर हार्ट बट वहां पे वन बाय एन था यहाँ पे वन बाय एन माइनस वन है 
सो वहां पे आपने एक्सपेक्टेशन कैसे निकाला था सिग्मा स्क्वायर माइनस सिग्मा स्क्वायर बाय एन तो वहां पे बाय एन था यहाँ पे एन माइनस वन हो जाएगा एंड पूरा चीज कैंसिल आउट होके यू विल गेट सिग्मा स्क्वायर ये आपको मिलेगा इसका एक्सपेक्टेशन ठीक है इसका डेरिवेशन इज नॉट देर इन द सिलेबस नाउ वंस यू हैव दिस विथ यू वंस यू हैव दिस विथ यू नाउ इफ यू कैलक्यूलेट द बायसनेस If you calculate the biasness of a square, which is expectation of a square minus sigma square, therefore, unbiased. Are you getting the unbiased definition? If you use sample variance. If you use ध्यान से सुनना sample variance as your variance estimator, then you are getting an unbiased answer. But we usually don't use this. We use the previous one. ठीक है now um <clears throat> one thing that you can also understand one thing that you can also understand that that expectation of variance estimator the expectation of variance estimator is what n minus 1 by n sigma square right so if you just see the difference is not very huge If you see the biasness, which is the difference between the expectation and this, it is only sigma square by n. ठीक है? तो अगर आपका n is very large, if your n is very 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 large number, your biasness will be very small. As your n tends to infinity, let's make n as infinity. Your biasness of this will tend to zero. If this n becomes infinity, your biasness will tend to zero. Clear? So, बहुत large values के case में ये difference नहीं आता. And remember, when we did sample variance and population variance, what did I say? When the sample size is very huge. then sample variance and population variance gets almost equal theek hai and what you are doing is when you are dividing this by n you are taking a smaller value of estimator and when here i am dividing it one second and when um actually thoda load ho raha hai and when i took s square in s square what did i did i took one i divided it by n minus 1 so the value if you divide by n and n minus 1 kis mein zyada aayega n minus 1 mein to s square will give you a larger value and sigma hat square will give you a comparatively smaller value to aap uska expectation nikaloge aapko anyways bahut hi chhota milega सो so, अगर एक चीज देखो यहाँ पे अगर एक चीज देखो यहाँ पे फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट्स टेक एन लेट्स टेक अ वेरी वेरी बेसिक एग्जाम्पल ठीक है लेट्स ए सपोज इफ आई टेल यू लेट्स ए सपोज इफ आई टेल यू नॉर्मल जीरो कॉमा वन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ठीक है नॉर्मल जीरो कॉमा वन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन है ठीक है लेट मी राइट इट विथ सम अदर पेन मे बी इफ देर इज दिस Let me write it like this. Normal zero comma one distribution है, ठीक है? And the sample size that you have taken is twenty. In this case, what will be your expectation of sigma hat square? N minus one by n into sigma square. 
सिग्मा स्क्वायर वन है एन इज ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन बाय ट्वेंटी इंटू वन पॉइंट नाइन फाइव दिस नाइन फाइव इज समॉट क्लोजर टू द एक्चुअल वेरियंस विच इज वन टू द एक्चुअल वेरियंस विच इज वन तो वही बोल रहे हैं और अगर इस सैंपल साइज को आप और बड़ा कर दोगे इफ यू टेक एन एस टू हंड्रेड दिस विल गेट मोर स्मॉल ठीक है गॉट इट लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड डिफरेंस बिटवीन टू वेरी बेसिक वर्ड्स इन स्टेटिस्टिक्स दैट वी यूज इन कॉन्स दैट वी यूज इज स्टैंडर्ड एरर्स एंड वर्सेस स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन Now, what is the basic difference between these two words? Standard error, standard error, and standard deviation. Standard deviation, just like sigma that we calculated, is what is standard deviation or variance. Sigma square, जब आप लिखोगे, this is variance of what? This is variance of what? This is variance of un. This is basically. अगर मैं variance भी नहीं बोलूँ, ठीक है? Variance word ही मत use करो. This is the uncertainty that you have. This is the uncertainty of random variables. X size. This is the uncertainty of Random variables, x size. Yes, this is your. For example, if I say um, that your x follows um, normal five comma ten. What is your variance? Ten. Uncertainty in the x size. ठीक है, random variable x size. All right. This is your standard deviation. Or when you have, for example, hundred data points, you are calculating a variance for that. That is your what? That is your sigma square. Okay. What is standard error? What is standard error? So when you calculate, when you calculate the standard, when you calculate the standard deviation of any estimator just like what you did for mu hat just like what you did for sigma hat square so any estimator estimator kya hota hai parameter ka estimator hum jo nikalte hain jo bhi humne just ke pehle seekha if you calculate the standard deviation of estimator that is your standard error that is your standard error to abhi जो हमने किया था इफ यू रिमेम्बर हमने वेरियंस ऑफ न्यू हार्ट वी टुक आउट डू यू रिमेम्बर वॉट इट वॉज सिग्मा स्क्वायर बाय एन सिग्मा स्क्वायर बाय एन वी टुक आउट दिस इंटायर थिंग ये हमने प्रूव किया था अभी जस्ट अभी हमने प्रूव किया था तो ये क्या है या फिर इसका स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन लोगे तो सिग स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन लोगे तो सिग्मा बाय रूट एन हो जाएगा है ना तो दिस इज वॉट दिस डिपेंड्स ऑन The standard deviation sigma. It depends on standard deviation of the data, but it also depends on the size of the data. So it depends on two things. It depends on standard deviation, standard deviation of the data, but it also depends on n, which is your sample size. कभी देखते हो standard error, standard deviation. People use it interchangeably, but ideally you should not. Standard error. Is standard deviation of an estimator, mu hat, sigma hat square, whatever lambda hat, whatever estimator you have, uska ap variance nikal rio, standard deviation nikal rio is standard error. Standard deviation is when you are finding uncertainty in the data or the random variables which is given to you. All right. <coughs> standard error me kya hoga? Standard error will decrease if n increases hai na standard error 
दिस इंटायर थिंग विल डिक्रीज इफ योर सैंपल साइज इंक्रीजेस एंड अभी हमने वही तो दिखाया था जैसे आपका सैंपल साइज इंक्रीज होता है योर दिस पार्ट डिक्रीजेस योर दिस पार्ट डिक्रीजेस वेर आज दिस स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन डज नॉट डिपेंड ऑन द सैंपल साइज This does not depend on the sample size standard error. हम लोग hypothesis testing, confidence interval, linear regression, all of these we'll study over there. But basically, standard error it provides what? It indicates the accuracy of this estimate. अभी जो हमने mu and sigma का estimate पढ़ा था, so it depends on this mu and sigma का accuracy. आपने म्यू निकाला आपने सिग्मा निकाला ऑफ अ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ अ गिवन डेटा सेट आई हैव गिवन यू हंड्रेड डेटा पॉइंट्स आपने उसका म्यू एंड सिग्मा निकाला ठीक है तो उसका एक्यूरेसी कैसा है डिपेंड्स ऑन स्टैंडर्ड एरर स्टैंडर्ड एरर जितना कम होगा उसका कैलकुलेशन का एक्यूरेसी ऑफ म्यू हैट सिग्मा हैट विल इंक्रीज ठीक है एक्यूरेसी ऑफ द एस्टिमेटर्स विल गो अप बट जितना ऑब्वियसली आपका स्टैंडर्ड एरर ज्यादा होगा एक्यूरेसी इज लेस स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन हाव एवर विल नॉट चेंज इफ योर सैंपल साइज चेंजेस दिस इज नथिंग बट द अनसर्टेंटी इन द रैंडम नंबर्स एक्साइज और द डेटा विच इज गिवन दिस इज द स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन ऑफ द एस्टिमेटर दिस इज समथिंग विच वी ऑलरेडी डिराइड एंड हैव शोन यू ठीक है लेट्स डू इट टिल ह्योर फॉर टूडे नेक्स्ट क्लास वील कंटिन्यू फ्रॉम ह्योर ठीक है थैंक यू